Four years ago, my son Shane asked me if I would send him a book about Vietnam. He wanted to know about the air war and the role I played as an Air Force pilot. So I sent him a book about a group of forward air controllers, FACS. Their radio call sign was MISTY, and their mission was to fly over the Ho Chi Minh Trail looking for enemy soldiers, gun sites, and heavy equipment. These guys flew the F-100 fighter jet. They flew it at treetop level and at high speeds. They were known as fast movers. I too was a forward air controller, but a slow mover. I flew the 01 Bird Dog, a 1940 vintage, single engine, prop driven Cessna. I worked with a group of 25 pilots, and our call sign was TUM. We lived with and supported the Tiger Division of the Korean Army. Our mission was to provide the Korean soldiers with close air support when they engaged the enemy. We marked targets with white phosphorus rockets and directed the fighter bombers, the F-100s and F-4s, in the deployment of their ordnance. My memoir, Jungle Fighter Pilots, is going to be an adventure for you that begins at the University of Montana when I was an Air Force ROTC cadet. After graduation, we are going to go to Reese Air Force Base in Lubbock, Texas, and spend a year learning how to fly the Air Force way. When we complete the program, we're going to be schooled in survival techniques in the steep hills of Idaho and the steamy jungles of the Philippines. We're going to spend a few days in a prisoner of war camp, preparing for the possibility of being shot down, captured, and sent to Hanoi. Once all the training is over, we're going to go to Vietnam, and you're going to meet the Tumfax. You will be amazed at their skill and their cunning and their commitment to the mission of caring for the Korean soldiers and one another. So fasten your chin straps and your seat belt. We're going to take off shortly. My name is Bernie Hale and my call sign is Tum 1-4.